What's up everyone, Tate down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Like I mentioned in the last Flipping for Profit video, I did go and purchase something off of Facebook Marketplace, and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. What it is, is an Xbox 360 lot. It includes the console, two controllers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's check it out and take a closer look. So here we go, this is the Xbox 360 lot. So the first thing that I want to say is, unfortunately I didn't know how many gigabytes this console is. The lady was basically the mother of the kid and she knew nothing about the console. So she couldn't tell me how many gigabytes it was, so I purchased it, risking that it was gonna be one of the lower ones. It ends up, once I got back and checked it out, it is a 240 gigabyte Xbox 360, which is good in my favor. Now the one thing is the kid, did not factory reset it. He was still signed in and because I don't know Xbox, I didn't know how to factory reset this console. I had to look it up and was managed to get it to work. So that was good, the console works. It is a little beat up, but I think this should be able to get a little bit of profit. Now, it included two controllers. The only thing is they do have a battery pack this is a rechargeable one. Now the problem is the cord, the cable that they included has been cut. So the cord does not work. Now fortunately, it did include one that you can put batteries in. You guys can't really tell on the screen there. So they can still use the controller, but only one at a time. Now it includes a mic, the keyboard for the controller, a remote, and a couple games, including the case as well. Now. It also includes the power cords, but no HDMI cord. I didn't realize that this at the time I purchased it. Now for the games, there is one game that whenever I opened it up while I was there, it didn't include the game. The game was not in the case. So we were wondering, and I just gave it the benefit of the doubt, and I wish I didn't because I assumed that hopefully the game was gonna be in the console. Nothing was in the console. So that was a bummer, one game down out of the 13 games. Another game that I opened up, once I opened it up to check, once I got back, I realized there was a huge crack in the disc. Likely wasn't gonna work. I tried it anyways for whatever reason and I was right. The game did not work, so I ended up having to throw it out. So these are the games that I am now left with. So, not too bad in my opinion, but it could have been better. Now, I thought this might include an uh, Xbox Connect. I was wrong, it only includes the mounts for some reason, so not the Xbox 360 Connect, just the mounts for it, so I was a little bit, you know, wondering why there's no Connect, just the mounts for it, which does suck because two of these games can only be played with the Connect. so basically whoever purchases the Xbox 360 from me can only play these if they have a Connect, or they'll have to purchase one to be able to get it. And I'm also including this game in the lots whenever I sell the 360. So when I sell the 360, I'm going to include everything it came with, including these three games right here. Now, I purchased the entire lot for $70. Now, looking at it with the cord cuts, some of the games not in the best condition and everything, even though it is a 240 gigabyte model, in my opinion, I should have offered a little bit less. I didn't realize what it actually was and the lady had no clue either. So that's my bad. But the other games are pretty decent. So this here with the three games, I'm likely going to list it and it's already listed for $125 on Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere that I could post it locally. And I think it should sell for that. I see other ones that are the 60 gigabytes and the 120 gigabytes. They're posted for around the same. They're posted between 125 and 150. I'm trying to sell it with the carrying case and all the cables for hopefully 125. I have a couple people messaging and hopefully somebody does purchase it because right there, that would be 50 profit, $55 profit. So that would still be good. Plus I have all of these games as well. Now these games I do have listed on eBay and this game here, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy, I didn't realize was included in the lot when I purchased it. This game here, I posted it on eBay 
for $20 plus $10 shipping. And I already have people making offers, so hopefully I do get this sold within a couple days. The other games I do have mostly posted for $10 each on eBay. Now I'm still willing to reduce that and even go to about $5 for these games if somebody on eBay were to make me those offers. But the games are going to be on eBay, hopefully around $30 to $40 there if everything gets sold. The other is going to be, like I said, $125. That's what I listed it at. I still would be happy with if somebody were to offer me $100 because that would be still $30 profit. And then whatever I get for these is all profit. So in my opinion, this 360 lots, I should have asked for a little bit less. I did negotiate down to 70, which I thought at the time, looking at the photos and everything, that was a great deal. But whenever I got back and looked at it and hooked it up, I realized it wasn't as great of a deal as I thought it was. So what do you guys think of this Xbox 360 lot? Do you guys think it was worth it or should I have passed on it or at least asked for a little bit less? In my opinion, I thought it was a great idea at the time, but since I don't know Xbox and I had to look up a few things before I could even use the console, I just did not enjoy it at all. So I'm glad I stayed with PlayStation for my personal preference, but buying and selling, it was worth the risk, $70. I thought, okay, I'll at least risk it because I could at least sell it for 70 to somebody else and just break even. But I think there still, in my opinion, is a little bit of profit to be made. Even though, like I said, there was two games that one was broken and one wasn't even there. That did rub me the wrong way. Plus the cable to charge the controllers was cut, clean cut. It's not that it broke, it was a clean cut. So I don't know, maybe they knew, maybe they didn't. And it also included some extra cables that don't go with the 360, so I don't know why they were entirely there. Like I said, right now I have the Xbox 360 with the three games listed for 125. I'm willing to take 100 for it. That's $30 profit right there. And the other games right now I have listed on eBay. I'm willing to go as low as $5 each. I also have them listed on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji. And I have them for, I think, $10 each or make an offer. So hopefully I can get those sold along with the console and make maybe right now I'm predicting about $50 profit but I'll let you guys know in a future video. The last time that I purchased something that was Xbox was a lot of Xbox One games and I made a ridiculous profit on that. I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. In the next video I'm going to be talking about the profit that I made for my first two flipping for profit videos but since I went and I did so great with that I decided to purchase this Xbox 360 lots and I've realized it could have been a better deal, but I still am going to have to live with it. At least it was the 240 gigabyte console, so I'll be able to at least bargain with that and maybe get the 125 or even 100 that I'm asking, but we'll see and I'll let you guys know in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy this series on my channel. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.